Good day everyone, this is Maggie B for Apps for iPads and today you're looking at the back end of something you normally don't see because this is the part of the video that we would clip away and we would just start right into our review of the app itself but what you're looking at is the app itself. This is called Display Recorder. Now we had so much trouble with Reflection app last week that I went looking for an alternative and unfortunately uh, Air Server is still in beta and it does it while we have a beta version it will not do the video or the audio and this particular app display recorder was only released like the day before yesterday. So I did find it and I was able to make a new recording of the Toka Train app that we reviewed earlier and it came out wonderfully. So wonderfully that when I put on Facebook that we were um, re-releasing the video, I can't tell you how many emails we've got saying that's done on an app? How did you do that? I need to know. So we're doing this really quickly. We're still working with it. It's working great in some applications and in others it's not. And I'm sure that we're going to work that out. And it is brand new. So I'm going to work with the guys that have developed this app and see if we can get it all tweaked and working great in every application. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to show you what we did with Toka Train. I am not going to show you what we did with the Ocean House Media Five Little Monkeys Collection 1 because it's not capturing, for some reason, the audio of the app and it's wiping the audio for my entire video out. So it's not perfect. Or I'm not perfect, but I haven't figured out which it is yet. And I have to tell you, it's best if you do a short clip of a video first to make sure it's working. Because with Toka Train, we discovered very quickly that we had a black screen. We didn't have anything but a black screen. We had audio, but we didn't have video. So if that happens, there's some instances where you need to change this capture method from the direct access, which is actually a better quality to screen capture. It doesn't work quite as fast, but you get the screen, so that's pretty important. Anyhow, let me show you. Once I did that, I just very quickly went into Toka Train. And this is where I would have started my voiceover for that video, where we took you into the full app and showed you exactly what we were doing. And if you saw that video, this is exactly what you saw. And we can manipulate this a whole 360. We can actually look down on the train. And you are seeing exactly what I am seeing on my iPad. And this is how we made the video for Topa Train Review, which you can see on the website. Whoa, <laughs> I didn't have the perspective there real good, did I? And it's capturing the screen is capturing the audio of the app and it's capturing my voice. Now if we go back to the display recorder you again see the part that I would be clipping off at the end of the video. What I would be doing now is tapping on that glowing red button on the lower left to stop the recording and then hit the black button that's on the other end of that bar and that will merge it but I can't do that without stopping this video so that is exactly what I would do and what I did do for making the Toka Train video for you 
so that it wasn't crackling, snapping, and popping like it was before with the Reflection app, which we are also working with the developers on to get it. So I'd maybe roll it back to a previous version where we didn't have that problem, but they are looking into that for me. And I will be getting with Display Record uh, Recorder and see what we can do about it working for all of our other app reviews. In the meantime, stop by the website for a full review of Display Recorder. I'll join you on the website. We're all sync with you soon.